Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to uh, Opinionated Lushes. Um, Whoa! Whoa! I mean, <laughs> I feel so bad because Dawn's here. She's a <laughs> she's <trooper>. sort of. <laughs> she, she, she's it. here in I'm physical. Present. Yeah, this you're present. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> present. <laughs> Uh, so remember, uh, if she coughs, uh, bonus drinks. Take a drink. Take a drink. <laughs> you guys are gonna be plastered. <laughs> well, just the way I like me. drinking tonight. Jessica's yeah. gonna be plastered. <laughs> yeah, it's just you can weird. ask her what she's drinking. Yes, Jessica, what are you drinking tonight? <laughs> I'm drinking beer, <laughs> but it's just uh, a Sleeman Cream Ale because uh, my. Gra uh, grandparents my in-laws uh gave me a case uh i don't usually like bottles um but uh it's here it's beer and uh i'm drinking it <laughs> so anya what are you drinking coffee yeah like we said i said in pre-drinks um i'm we're doing our live stream event thing in two days um and i've been working all week so and i work real early in the morning so it's just coffee yeah. I'm being a crybaby today. That's fine. That's fine. Speaking of which, this is coming out after the live stream. So if you were at the live stream, uh, let us know. Did you like it? Was it was it good for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hit all the right spots? I'm drinking tea. And okay. I have um, hiccabus. I ran out of peppermint and I ran out of honey lemon because I've been drinking it all week. And then I got water. And then I got cranger ale. I, I got all the drinks going. I'm not going to drink gremlin there <laughs> it, okay i have to be fluids are important right now that's true that's true drink, drink. drink again <laughs> okay we're back to the wheel of uh, uh choices decisions yeah the topic wheel topics thank you i, yeah, I was like it, i forgot a word says, oh it says wheel picker wheel so i guess that doesn't <laughs> I, I, I like the word choices. Picker. <laughs> picker wheel picker we don't have choices. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Okay, that's what the face thought, guys. <laughs> if one animal was made the size of a whale, which would be the scariest? Okay, I just want to say, uh, whales are pretty fucking scary. Yeah, on their own? <laughs> on their own. <laughs> like... <laughs> I am terrified of like the ocean and stuff. Um, I started playing this video game called Dredge, uh, and it's basically it's just like a fisher game, you know, nice fishing sim, whatever. But then it gets dark, and then there's like giant fish that attack you and tentacles out of nowhere, and it came out of nowhere, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna die, and uh, it's terrifying. It's terrifying to me. Hmm. So whales, size of just the whales. I love that the orcas are still doing their orca shit. Fucking yeah. love that for them. Like for them. At it. But yeah. that still scares me. Like they grow legs, we're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> yeah, we're like, oh no. They already They're breathe. Not air. Going there. You're safe. Yeah, we're fine. As long so as far. we don't become rich enough to get a yacht, we're okay. Like until they come on land, then they're gonna like see an average house and be like, huh, that looks like a boat. A uh, land right, it's boat. Like, oh, it's uh. a land boat. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't that be a car? Well, I don't know. I, I, I mean, like, not all boats move. Like, you can anchor it and stuff. Maybe we're just anchored land boats. We're anchor. Got it. We're anchored. Yeah. 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 And wouldn't like, that be trailers? I'm just saying, like, I, I'm thinking whale brain. Like, if you've never seen a house before and you've only ever seen boats and then all of a sudden you can come on land and you see a house, you're going to be like, huh, that little, they have the same furniture that they had in that yacht. That's in right. That house. That's, safer. That's right. <laughs> like, fucking barbecuing. That's yeah. Going. And they're, they're on going. their, like, their fins and they're like, do, 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 do. <laughs> like, that's terrifying. I guess, but okay, how what size whale? Because there's different size whales too. Yeah, Are we talking like a like... beluga whale? It's nothing. No, yeah. Uh, what about a blue whale? Yeah, okay, like we'll the, do the biggest nice of whales. Giant. Yeah. Okay. Um, first of all, a lot of animals that size won't fit on land. Uh, it'll get real crowded real quick. 
Yeah, there's a, uh, I know, like, um, uh, what, zoologists or whatever, like, those that study animals, like, they there's the theories, it's like, the bigger the species, the less number of that species, just because they require so much food. That's why there's billions of bugs, because they're fucking tiny little fuckers, versus giant animals that are getting smaller and smaller, I mean. Well, I think the problem with the blue whales is that uh, we hunted them a lot, yeah. and we killed their lands their home the ocean yeah that's, that's my theory because there's oh, a lot of ocean like way more ocean than there is land there's way more room for those whales to be we just ruined it there is so much but we don't even like whales have to stay close enough that they can come to the surface because they breathe air yeah but there's so many freaking things in the deep 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 sea that we haven't fucking touched yet and that terrifies me oh my god now i'm thinking of squids giant squids and shit and it's giving me the heebie-jeebies i don't like oh, the ocean <laughs> they're so cute i would love like an octopus friend a friend you know, that, what about octopus octopi the size of whales Oh, God. No way. I mean, that's, that's like a slimy crazy. spider, man. Ooh. A slimy spider? Yeah. And they're smart. Like, they went, mm-hmm. to, they went to space or something, and they did, like, they were, I don't know. That they learned to take their own photos in a lab. Yeah. Like, and <laughs> they can open jars. Yeah. And if you're not giving them their snack fast enough, they'll climb out of their tank to go get it and then go back. Did you see the little decoy octopus? The, no. The, there's oh, my God. Decoy. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm on TikTok. I got to send it to you. So they made this little decoy octopus and he kind of like he's like rubbery and he has a camera built in and he kind of like waddles on his little like tentacle things. And um, during um, uh, there was like a predator in the area or whatever, and a and an a actual octopus nearby, little guy, and the little friend octopus like hit, like blocked kind of the little octopus while the while he hid while the predator went by, and then the little octopus like now follows the decoy oh, octopus all over. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, we need more of these like feel goods. <laughs> okay, uh, I do have a question. So, like, things like, like, octopi, like, they're very smart, even though they can be very small. Yeah. So, if it's bigger, like, like, blue whales that are all, that were also considered very smart, and their brain is now bigger, is the animal we choose now smarter? Oh, probably. Well, it, I think it doesn't matter. Like, for the size isn't what makes it smarter. It's the near the whatever those electrons snappy to bapidas in your thing that makes you smarter like the connectivity of the you know there's words that make yeah the, the like neuro connectors or what yeah the and i think humans yeah. have the most of that and that's why we're considered smarter and our thumbs but <laughs> yeah, the, but I think animals that got thumbs, and there's other. Raccoon, like, oh my god, I'd be terrified of raccoons. Oh my god, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Those, those would raccoons. be bears with fucking thumbs. That's what that would be. Bears? I would be scared <laughs> oh of a whale-sized bear. <laughs> the bears are fine. They just you're just like I'm bigger, and then they leave you alone. But you know. won't be bigger if it's He's a, size a of whale. whale. <laughs> Oh, how would that? Ca- okay, I'm trying to imagine like a fucking whale-sized bear going through the forest. Okay, just dum dum like the fucking the trees like moving. Yeah, it'd be a fucking dinosaur, but you know, furry dum. and whatnot. Ah, oh, think about how much meat would be on that thing. Mm, num 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 num. Are you, would it, it be it, good or would it be bad? Bear meat. Like, mm-hmm. Well, I like bear meat, but I mean, like, I've never had bear. Now meat. the bears. I've never had bear meat either. um i feel like if it if it's bigger i feel like it really depends on uh what what it's itself eating right because it like bears normal size bears eat a lot of fish and berries tends to be a lot of their diet but this big ass bear was gonna need more than fucking berries right he's fucking picking up goats from people's back yeah wow (laughs) so if he's not able to like meet that protein requirement then he's going to be a pretty scrawny whale-sized yeah. bear. Yeah. 
There's not going to be enough meat. Like there'll be meat, but it won't be like the good meat, the muscly meat. He he would have to be in one of those like national parks that is like all wooded areas, you know, like those giant ones, like in the states and stuff, mm. where people go missing all the time. <laughs> yeah. That's where the whale-sized bear will be. <laughs> the one, it's only one. We can't have like a whole <laughs> no <laughs> species of these things because I it wouldn't work. I no think... humans would kill them right away. Yeah, like the mammoth, woolly mammoth, like that. That's what giant sloths. No. Uh, uh, sloth. Elephants, Those are dangerous. <laughs> a fucking elephant, which it would just be the size of like two elephants, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, that's why we we used to have like like animals alligators, all of those, like they all used to be so much bigger than what we see now. But like tribes of humans were like, hmm, it's easier if we get like 10 of us together and kill one of these giant things. And if like we all go out individually and catch a bunch of small ones. So we just kind of like killed all the big ones. And so the small ones survived and evolution was like, oh, let's just keep getting smaller so humans don't kill us. Yeah. Um, That's why Australia still has weird fucking animals because we didn't get there until thousands of years after we took over the rest of the world yeah yeah but it they were like yeah we can be as amazing as we want and they're still thriving because like it's not like australia is killing them off they're like ah, it's our life ah look how so much of australia just isn't even touched like civilization (laughs) you know so it's like they'll die before they get there (laughs) yeah (laughs) everything can kill you in australia uh but uh yeah so bears bears would be bears terrifying. is a bad one. Oh, i would love a domestic cat um size of a whale it'd be so cute except for maybe not because it'd be like hey i'm gonna swallow you whole yeah i was like the domestic part is where it got me like are cats domestic because they're small mm. or because there are wild cats that are domestic but then you hear a lot of incidences where like they're you know, their instincts kick in. Their instincts kick in, and then they fucking swat at you and give you brain damage. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't own a tiger. <laughs> oh, I try. I have this little gray cat. Her name's Moshi, and she's constantly jumping out of nowhere to climb up my body. And I'm like, okay. And she's sweet, so you get her whale size. I'm thinking even dog size. And I'm going to get like ripped to shreds. That's Clifford. Just, oh, yeah, fucking Clifford. <laughs> Clifford, the big red dog. He's a whale. He's a whale, whale sized dog. He is whale sized. I call Rocket the Clifford, the big white corgi, uh, just because he's so big. Like he's a Great Pyrenees, but he's twice the size of an average Great Pyrenees. And he's all torso. Like compared to his body, like he has big legs, but compared to his body, they're. They're like his body, his like, oh, there's hair. His body's like this big, but then his legs are like this big. <laughs> like, you know, so his fucking... we have the same body type. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of all sorts of baby. <laughs> so you're like the corgi of people. Oh, that would be terrifying whale sized. Corgis? No, people. There's <laughs> 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 just one whale sized white cishet man walking around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm the president now, you know. It's proportioned. Cause like you could get large humans who aren't very healthy that are getting pretty big. Like it's not just fat, like body fat. It's like the size of a whale, like but average size person. Like King Kong. Like he was a yeah. he, proportioned <laughs> gorilla, but just giant. You know? Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Which was terrifying. So I feel <laughs> like there's a lot of things that could be uh, terrifying if they were bigger. Almost everything. Everything. I, I don't think there's anything that isn't. I think the whale is the least terrifying thing whale size. And that's only because it can't come on land. Yeah. And the blue whales <laughs> aren't actually like, they're not orcas. They're not going to, they only like little, if you're getting their mouth, they're going to get you. But like, they don't. <laughs> They're not they like krill or whatever that yeah. giant schools of fish are, the little ones. They're yeah. They suck yeah, just back. suck it up. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> jello. It just always makes me think of like um how 
you know, like we have, like humans over time have developed all these mythological things that were always based on other things, right? Um, like Loch Ness monsters and stuff like that. And so I always wonder, like, if there was like a giant animal, how long it would take for someone to actually discover it somewhere. If it was just one left nowadays, it wouldn't take that long, right? Like, Although, you, you would know, no, think, I, but there's so much that we don't see. Like that's why there's so many people that go missing in like the U.S. Yeah, we don't even parts. find our own people. So, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so that's uh, it's hard to say, especially in the ocean. Again, I'm terrified. In the, uh, the ocean. ocean and the islands where people haven't been able to go yet, because like the tribes of people like murder everybody which is smart um yeah. good for them <laughs> good for them them and the orcas i like that for them yeah they're like, like we're not getting colonized fuck you yeah fuck <laughs> you white people like <laughs> they just know <laughs> uh, i wish we uh, all had that instinct <laughs> you know <laughs> fucking white people uh, um <laughs> Okay, giant ass animals. I think bugs themselves uh, are all terrifying. Yeah, are you kidding? A cockroach can live for days with its out its head, and it doesn't even die because it doesn't have a head. It dies because it can't eat anymore. Yeah, it's fucking gross. You know, I would be <laughs> happy though if earwigs were that size, because then I won't be fucking finding them in places. You know, like in my drinks. <laughs> you know how big those pincers would be. They could just cut you in half. Just, <laughs> just I'll just stay away. I just don't want them in my drink. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me think of um that Goosebumps episode with the ants. I can't. Did you no, guys? I don't remember. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so, and then I remember. Yeah, brief synopsis. Kid has a has an ant farm, right? Lots of ants, and the mom and stuff are always like, "You got to keep the ants like in in the farm, whatever." Um, I can't remember exactly what happens, but at some point, you know, it's the classic goosebump reverse where you thought, "Oh, he was keeping the ants," but in reality, the ants were keeping them. And the giant ants had a human farm. Aw, that's sweet. And they were like <laughs> giant, giant things. And they're dropping little pellets of food for like their little human farm people. And the humans are getting it. They're like, oh, off to the uh, yeah. door. You know, the kids kind of <laughs> weirded out. But the parents, like in every Goosebumps fashion, is like, this is normal. This is normal <laughs> life. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking yeah. about? They're but just yeah, so but- used to it. <laughs> They all have little pinchers and stuff. And I feel like that's, uh, you know, that's just to hold on to stuff until they don't want to hold on to you. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Just a human farm. So reminds me of this time Kyle and I and some friends are playing Dungeons and Dragons. Take a drink. Drink! (laughs) And um, they were villains. So they ended up making, Kyle ended up making, like, a breeding program for humans. Like, he had them in a slave dimension and, like, a breeding program. So they could, generations, make him, like, this giant castle type thing. I, like, I was, like, that's really, that's dark. Like, you just fucking, here you go. This is your cage. (laughs) Okay. <laughs> well that ADHD conversation going on that reminds me <laughs> <laughs> of um I don't know if you ever watched Community but they I love have Community. <laughs> okay, they have this video game episode that's an RPG and Abed stays behind in the town and he unlocks, you know, with the with the one girl there and they end up just reproducing a bunch of children to help uh, industrialize the whole town. So he ends up just <laughs> a bunch of like computer children slaves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is like, why not? So why yeah. not? You know, like I feel like uh, almost like real life, you know, the minute you dehumanize it, it it's, you know, especially because those things, it's, you know, make believe it's not actual humans. Uh, it's a lot easier to enslave them. Sadly, people do that in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Dehumanize other people. But now we're just so. doing these mostly here. <laughs> yeah. Mostly. 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 Uh, I'm such a, like, a murder hobo in games. Like, I'm playing this one game, and I wanted to play it 
like a good character the whole time. I'm like, I'm going to follow quests. I'm going to do good. I'm going to be a good person. And then I accidentally killed one person. And I was like, fuck it. That's it. <laughs> Everyone's dead. <laughs> Everyone's dead. So I was like, you know what? It's okay. I can contain this. So I just killed everybody on one planet. I was like, it's okay. This is it. This is where I'll murder everybody. It's fine. And so far, I've only killed other people a few times but so, <laughs> i i love that we like we, you and i both play games and um you know are avid gamers and stuff like that but you you're like ah, i tried so hard to be good i tried, <laughs> I tried. so I, I only murdered an entire planet that's pretty good for me you know yeah. like that's, you know and me it's like I can never kill someone that didn't attack me first. I can't do it. I always have to choose the good dialogues. I try to be bad, but then I just feel bad. And I can't. You feel I'm like always you the good. Too much empathy for NPCs. Yes. Well, like we both play <laughs> Outer Worlds. It's one of the few games that we've both played. And yeah. it's like me, I don't kill anyone unless it's like a marauder or like a fight that I have to for a quest. Like that's it. If if I can do it through dialogue, I do it through dialogue. The the first time I played, I fucking killed everybody. <laughs> yeah, <I> just, <laughs> everybody. There was nobody. There's like the end scene came up, and they're like, "Fuck, there's nobody here." Like, what do you want? <laughs> no, I fill my ship with people. I have. I'm nice to the robots that I can be nice to. Like <laughs> I was, you know, rolling. Like I was. I was doing quests for some of the bad guys just because I didn't want to fight them. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> didn't want like to go any con conflict. You're like, no, I can't. Mm -mm. Yeah, I was like, if I can do this um, from a peaceful revolution resolution standpoint, I will. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> that always makes me laugh. Don played Fable once. Yeah. Were you a good guy or a bad guy? Bad. I'm not surprised. <laughs> she, she doesn't care about even real people. Like, and, and I'd, I'd have like sex with everyone, and like I had so many children. It was great. Oh my god, I want to play Baldur Gates of uh, uh, Baldur's Gate three just for all the sex scenes. Oh my god. So I've been letting my kids play that before I knew about all the scenes. I'm like, it's mm. okay. The youngest is 14. They're gonna figure that stuff out. Yeah, that like. <laughs> That's about the age when I figured it out. I'm Might sure. as well Maybe a little earlier. Know. Yeah. <laughs> well, like we try to like we're pretty strict with that kind of content. Um, that like it needs to be like sex is for adults only kind of thing. Um, but I was like, you know what? Fuck it. They're probably searching this stuff. Obviously, that's what incognito mode is for. Um, <laughs> so is it, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to stress. That's <laughs> it. It's yeah. fine. The, the lifted the ban <laughs> <laughs> it got lifted by because of Baldur's gate three well we still have all like the safe searches and everything like that i'm just i'm like i don't care now it's okay the youngest is 14 it's time for me to stop caring it's, yeah it goes, just go <laughs> that'd be a good like porn like if they haven't done it yet like Baldur gate you know Baldur gate yeah, Ballster Gates. Ballster Gate. <laughs> like I'm balls sure in is. all caps. <laughs> yeah. There's like World of Warcraft stuff out there. There's The Witcher. There's what is it? Rule 43 or whatever. 50. Like, I always like the number always changes. Yeah, Rule I don't even remember. 37, 52. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. The, the rules of the internet, if it exists, there's porn of it, including giant animals, I'm sure. Like a giant raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> there is a game that just came out on Steam. It's like nine bucks, you know, indie game, whatever. Um, about like uh being a trash panda in Toronto. That's so great. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's even called just like Trash Panda or something. Um, for those non-Canadian listeners, um, we had a uh, raccoon once that died on a sidewalk, a random yeah, sidewalk in Toronto. In Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and people made a memorial of it. And it got its own Twitter account. And it went on for a while. <laughs> Oh, yeah. like a week or two like it was like there's anniversaries of it like the year of it happening and people will still like be like rest in peace yeah they'll bring like 
gifts to the spot. <laughs> yeah, where this dead <laughs> raccoon was. So yeah, then, animal control didn't pick it up for like yeah. what was it, two days? At more or something ridiculous. Yeah, probably they just longer. Wouldn't than do that, their yeah. job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like that's you don't do your job, you get clowned. I don't know. No, no, they <laughs> they eventually did it because like it got a lot of attention right away, so they had to, but it took a long time. I love when human beings come together like that. I just wish we did it for like important things. Like real like, things. Yeah, like dead raccoon. Yeah, sad. I get it. But there's a lot of dead things every day. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but we just put that same energy in into that. That'd be uh, uh yeah. great. Like getting disability support. So instead of uh, assessing maid, you can just get um, a shelter in the woods and live that i that was like the most recent one there's been other times but like i think the woman with the sensory disorder was like just give like she didn't want to like she didn't want to die she was like i just want support yeah when she chose the euthanasia is because she had like such severe allergies and there was no support for her yeah like all she needed was a tiny little trailer in the woods and but like I don't know. I feel like there's other ways to go around it, but I think and she's she not even the only on. case. She's not even the yes. only case of people that are choosing euthanasia in Canada because that's easier than living disabled. Yeah, because so. there's zero disability support. Like bare minimum. Like we have universal health care and it's bare minimum. Although yep. the politicians' pockets are lined up nice and juicy even after they're no longer doing their job. So like, and, it's, yeah, like even the seniors that we have, like, I guess it's not a disability because you age, but like life becomes difficult. So they've worked their whole lives paid into the, the stuff the C- they're supposed to get yeah. and they get nothing. Like it's okay. Like why are you fucking taking these taxes for retirement? When you, I'm not gonna get it. Like it's better just to shove. You're like, hold on to that shit. Just, just keep it. <laughs> and like people with disabilities do not have marriage equality. Like a lot of people are like, <laughs> take a drink. Ah! Sorry, guys. <laughs> no worries. No worries. You're here. We appreciate your commitment. You're like <laughs> nodding. You people can't see it, but on YouTube they will. So it's yeah. Fine. You're That's participating fine. for YouTube only. Yeah. <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> YouTube exclusive. But like a lot of people think we all have marriage equality now because like the gays can marry. Wow. But like <laughs> if you're on disability and you get married, you lose your disability if your partner makes a certain amount. And now your partner is financially responsible for you, which now puts you in a more vulnerable situation because now you can't leave your partner even if something ever changes becomes abusive whatever um because you're you don't have any of your own income you're fucked yeah so it's it's not good not good uh but i do want to mention one good thing that did come out of the canadian government this week uh federally federally my favorite um uh it's now going to be the responsible of businesses to provide female um sanitary products like tampons and pads to all of their female employees good starting in january yes the hamilton library does free tampons yeah i know personally (laughs) which is amazing uh me and sonia went to the library and i started my period and i was like oh no like crap we're gonna have to like go right now and like so i you know i did the toilet paper thing whatever i go to the sink to like wash my hands i turn around to the dryer and right beside it was tampons like free tampons and i was like okay so then i grabbed one and i went to the bathroom did my thing washed my hands again and then i came out to see sonia i was like (laughs) there's tampons i've never been (laughs) so excited for something in my entire life it's something so simple too just to like feel seen yeah Um, and like on their bathroom doors it says use whatever bathroom you think you should be using like we support all humans and then they said if you don't feel comfortable using one of these bathrooms staff will let you use their private bathroom kind of thing like 
Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. Fucking just another thing that shows that like libraries are so fucking important. Just because you can just exist and <laughs> it's amazing. Like it's well, I just want to say to uh, any female Canadian worker out there, now this is going to be the hard part because a lot of um, uh, businesses will feign ignorance. They won't know this passing law. And they won't yeah. know what's going on. Um, basically, uh, I believe the ruling is kind of under the same guise as like they have to provide bathrooms and toilet paper. And now to make it equality, right, they have to provide sanitary products for women. If, you know, if men, I mean, trans men have periods too, they got to provide products. So right. if you are working, let your fucking bosses know that way. Start, do it, do it via email, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Do it via text based. That way, if they do not do that and you bring it up and they fire you, reprimand you, whatever, you have like a case started because it is now like federally that is what they have put forth so uh so now now we have to do the hard part <laughs> like getting them to follow getting through. them to follow through yeah you know? uh, it's like yeah we've been fighting for that for a while and it's just so great that like it happened the fact that we have to pay for it at all like i didn't choose to have a period believe me i, I don't want it i'm done having children i don't need to know i'm not pregnant I every month yeah like i don't need to like be like oh yes <laughs> like yeah it's fine I, it's I don't yeah, need my it. husband snipped. Like I have, n yeah. Like, there's nothing, and I don't need this system anymore, except for like the hormone shit. You know, like that and that could be medication. You know, like or a <laughs> shot in the arm. I don't. <laughs> just, so I don't frustrating. Cramps, headache, <laughs> sensitivity to light. Oh my god! Down, just, like down. the emotions. The the, uh, the hormones. I feel like a little crybaby bitch, and I'm like, I'm not weak. And then my period comes. I'm like. I told you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm not like a touchy person. Like touch is not my love language, but like when it's like, I like hormonal cause of like PMS thing. I'm like, Kyle, I love you. Give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only me. time you're like physical. Yeah. Like, That's the only time I'm like that with Dave is like, we're both seriously sick, which has been this week. Or um, if I'm having period cramps, then I just need my belly rubbed. And I'm just like, just, just rub it. Just sh And then any other time, I'm like, don't touch me. But like period time, I'm like, rub my belly, rub my back, rub my belly, rub my back. <laughs> That's so funny because like Chris's love language is physical touch, which means I get like a back massage every night. And I'm like, that's fine. Like that, you know. Oh, I can't. I can't even. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Oh. That's too much. That's oversensitive. Sense, like no. I think like he does the elbow thing right into oh, my shoulder. No, blade. I can't get oh, any yeah. touch. No, my spot. Like it hurts when my bones are touched. Like, well, I think we talked about this in our our last episode where if I my hand if like I'm touched, uh, it feels like fire and it lasts for like a few seconds. Like so, if I walk into a door. Um, it's not like that part didn't hurt. It's the seconds after where like my, what are those called? Your pain? Thing Nerves? In my yeah. Or just are like tingling. Firing like, off. They're just, yeah. Nerve endings. They're just like, pew, 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 pew. Yeah. warning signs, yeah. warning signs. <laughs> Someone here, guys. Someone touch something. <laughs> yeah. <Run! laughs> it's like, it's so useless. It's like the smell of grass. When you cut it, it's to warn other grass something is happening. Where the <laughs> fuck are you going to go, grass? Where are you going to go? <laughs> oh, my God. Could you imagine whale-sized grass? <laughs> that would be a bitch to cut. Like, that would just be... <laughs> like, at that point, would it be able to move? Like, like at that point, the grass is like, face. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> like, just like... I imagine it'd be like tree. Like, those don't go anywhere. <laughs> well, they move a little bit. It just takes them like hundreds and thousands of years. They're not moving. The ground around them is moving. <laughs> Fucking octopus. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I mean, Am I like, what is this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying their roots oddly familiar to octopus tentacles. Like, you just, they're just slower at it. I mean, I watched Lord of the Rings, I know how it works. Yeah, <laughs> that's like <laughs> history. That yeah. like that's like Discovery Channel. What is that? I'm trying to 
history fact, the history channel when they're like aliens they're like giant yeah. trees giant trees <laughs> <laughs> they have a name i forget i can't remember it's like uh, it's been a, a while since yeah, I've i don't know fucking but, brute that's not it <laughs> <laughs> but they're slow because yeah. they're big things of bark you know i mean they're living i maybe their brains got bigger when they grew Trees are still pretty fucking big. How much bigger are they getting? <laughs> oh, maybe they're getting like uh, these are like I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking like maybe maybe a, a small tree whale size or whale size, like a dwarf apple tree. Yeah, <laughs> make that well. oh, Could you imagine the size of those apples? Oh, just fucking they shake fall? and knock you down. There's brain damage. They go all Wizard of Oz on you and just start throwing their own apples. You know? <laughs> This conversation's really making me think I'm hot. Like, what kind of medication did I take? Back to the grass. Okay. Would it smell stronger if you cut it? Well, because I would it's imagine because, like, it's fragrance veins or whatever it is that makes it smell are bigger. So, like, that means there's more. Maybe they're actually screaming since they're so big. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and on top of the the smell it's, it's screaming. <laughs> guys what the fuck what the fuck <laughs> that's just their breath like that's what we're smelling yeah because sm- <laughs> yeah, we can't hear because they're too little <laughs> poor, poor grass okay now now i'm like okay so depending on like the plant that's whale size can you imagine the pollen Oh my no! That would wipe <laughs> us out. You'd fucking die. Yeah, yeah. You're like <laughs> yeah, you just suffocate. <laughs> like anyone with any pollen allergy, just like <gasps> oh, it'd be the happening. But giant plants mm, would so actually yeah. be scary instead of just watching scary. the wind go. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Wahlberg's like it's happening. <laughs> I don't know. He's just in that movie. <laughs> That's just well, what I imagine. It's probably the title. They always say the title. <laughs> uh, Don, do you have do you have uh, any giant whale sized things that would no. be scary? No, no, no I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I take a drink. I'm dying. <laughs> the cold virus. Yeah. Okay, the bacteria just like oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my any god. I would I would love to see bacteria whale size just like living <laughs> life just like oh. that's what i imagine <laughs> Bacteria it, pro- moves. it wouldn't be able to so it wouldn't be able to infect us it'd be too big but when they try to like come up and like hey let me get in you but like it's bigger than you the problem would be that it would reproduce really fast oh my gosh the whole planet blah, blah, blah. yeah within like a day probably but yeah. like, it couldn't infect us it would just like take over everything could you go through it are they solid or are they no i think it's plasma is it plasma i think so i gotta i gotta go my mind palette your mind palette i think it's like plasma so you wouldn't be able to like breathe inside of it but you probably could go through it like uh it's not it's not it's not plant-based so it doesn't have a cell wall it's an animal cell which is usually like you need a lot of them to build, like, you know, hard to go through things. Um, oh, it shows that they behave more like solids. Cells are compromised of solid wall and membranes. Oh, mm-hmm. wait, that's a cell. Hold on. Well, it, it yeah, it's a virus. If we're talking They're about matter, like, germs are matter. Well, are we talking germs <laughs> or are we talking like viruses? Because most colds are like like virus based yeah okay let's do and viruses virus. technically aren't alive they act alive but they don't like they're not alive or just they don't any bacteria theory. there's good bacteria and there's bad yeah bacteria. virus and bacteria are different bacteria is living it follows the yeah reproduction yeah we'll do bacteria it has to be okay. a living thing yeah i'm trying to think of like like bacteria would cause like infections and shit uh what strep no strep strep is bacteria streptococcal yeah streptococcus yeah it's a free form growth inhibiting substances 
Listen, this isn't it. I want to know if I can walk through bacteria. Okay, it, we need a science <laughs> podcast to come on an episode someday. We have questions. Like, <laughs> if a bacteria was the size of a whale, <laughs> what would happen? Okay, first things first. Okay, can bacteria enter the body through skin? These can cause open skin wounds. infections. Yeah, open wounds. So, yeah, so if you're walking through it, you're, it's going to murder you. That's yeah. it. That's it. Impetigo, guys. We're all going to get fucking Impetigo. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, I mean, that's that. I, and there's no amount of amoxicillin that would be able to save you at that <laughs> point. And bacteria can walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're, they're becoming scarier and scarier. Well, it's because it's because of our uh, overuse of um, penicillin and uh, a lot yeah. of people not finishing it so like bacteria always follows under like bottleneck theory which is what a lot of people thought covid would be but like viruses don't follow bottleneck theory but living things do like bacteria so it's like when they prescribe you your freaking amoxicillin penicillin take it whatever, all even when take you feel better all. take it yes. all the whole thing oh my god <laughs> like even when okay. the symptoms stop doesn't mean it's all gone so oh, i know i know this yeah <laughs> Oh my You're creating gosh. super bugs, and then they survive, and then they create. Well, more it's funny that you mentioned streptococcus because my son uh, Nicholas had strep, and because he was going between my house and my mother in law's, <laughs> because I was working, and so was my husband. Um, we he we think he missed a couple of doses, and streptococcus turned into rheumatic fever, and that's when streptococcus goes to your heart, mm -hmm. and that was scary as fuck. And then he had to be on penicillin until he was 14. Yeah, it's fucking terrifying. Like, I I was a preteen and I had a UTI, classic, whatever. And, uh, you know, I'm not taking medication regularly. Ends up in my kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck, <laughs> you know? Like, that. take it all. Okay. Yes. Or... You'll make Kyle sad. So when Kyle and I started dating, um, I kept getting strep throat because uh, I lived in a secondhand smoke home. Uh, and that's one of the reactions I get. And I was like, okay, I'm starting to feel better. I would stop taking my meds. Uh, then Kyle would get fucking strep throat. And then he would take all of his meds and get better. And then I would get it. And then... It was just like this whole circle where it was like the doctor's like, okay, if you get it one more time, we're going to take out your tonsils. And he's like, okay. And then he found out that I wasn't taking all of my medicine. And he's like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Take all your medicine. <laughs> yeah. hundred percent. I mean, it's even, it's even the same with like, um, like we keep using harsher and harsher cleaners on things and there's a reason they say 99.9% .9 effective. And the issue is, is that 0.1% that's still living is making it harder to clean. So then we keep having to make harsher and harsher cleaners. <laughs> and it's like, and, and th that's, that's for viruses a lot too, but it's not, uh, but it's mostly like bacteria because the way bacteria produces over the way viruses produce, which is the difference between why viruses aren't considered living, but it's just, yeah, we're just, yeah. we're just fucked. I, I feel so sorry for the next, uh, the, the in three generations from now, if yeah. you live <laughs> like, <laughs> like, fuck. I just yeah. want to say bacteria also have eyes so they can see where they're going. Okay. So I've, I kept reading about bacteria <laughs> and I've decided out of all of the fucking creatures in the planet, at the size is bacteria. I agree with you. I think there's a reason they're small. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would I agree cry. with you too. Oh my God. What if that's the like apocalypse is bacteria? Because they've grown so big, they can fight us now. And like, they're like, oh, bu -bu -bu -bu. I don't know. They have bacteria guns now. Like, that's <laughs> They're, they're from America. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where they just even the children have the big ones. Yeah. So even children bacteria. Well, uh, a children bacteria are also adult bacteria. Yeah, <laughs> they, all like, the same bacteria. It's <laughs> yeah. not like it's oh, the they same get little guy. children. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking Tim. 
<laughs> just like okay, I have, I, this bacteria theory. I do have a question. Okay. So bacteria is generally a, is it's a one celled organism. So is it that one cell is now whale sized, or did all the little bacteria get together and they're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Humans are made of multiple cells. What if we got together and then a bunch of the bacteria morph into a giant bacteria? I think that'd be more scarier. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because then they're all thinking as a hive mind. Um, and that wouldn't be good. Now they're like thinking beings. Uh, and they're <laughs> like, hey, we can do things. I'd rather them be like, oh, we should adapt very slowly. Like, I like that. I like the, oh, this isn't working out. Let's adapt. Not the, hey, bub, look what I figured out. And he's like, oh, <laughs> let's stay together. We get bigger. And then they're like, George comes in. And yeah, no, I don't like that. <laughs> well, it's, it's just because, like, so scientists are obviously are working on nano robots and stuff like that. And they're working on trying to teach nano robots to learn how to do things and like they're really stupid tests like they have like a bunch of these nano robots and they're like they have to move one little thing over a small gap you know yeah. and so you see like them try to figure it out and whatever else and that's how i'm imagining these bacteria they're like they're like figuring it out figuring out but then one day they'll fucking get it yeah. and then that's not what we want we don't know these that. scientists didn't watch stargate um the replicators mm -mm. see they like it's not good well so many fucking zombie things and all this stuff they all start in a lab yeah fucking labs man okay, labs. Lab. and okay joe rogan has his flaws of course i am a strong <laughs> joe rogan hater but he did have this series where he was almost doing investigative journalism for a little bit on TV, like almost, almost, like, where he has a team getting doing all the work for him. Well, he was there doing the interviews, like, you know. It, I mean, he still has a team doing it for him on his podcast, but he was actually like asking the hard hitting questions at that moment. Um, and there is so many laboratory private laboratories in the U.S. that you can just go in and pay a fee to use the lab for a couple hours. And I don't think everyone should have access to that. And that's really bad. Maybe maybe people should. But like, mm, if you if you don't have free healthcare, I feel like having free laboratory or well, paying for laboratory time probably isn't like that's how uh, <laughs> like evil villains start. Yeah. Good. You know, you can just fuck around with bacteria and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, like I need 20 bucks. So they'll go th and do you're pretty test. cheap too. Like, and yeah. you can have access to like chemicals and shit. And I'm just like, mm, maybe not. Like, <laughs> maybe, like, this is how like most people learn how to like build bombs. They just fucking Google it nowadays and then go to a lab. Well, so. you don't need to go to a lab. You can like do stuff in your own garage. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Home you Depot trip, and you're good. Like at, in Walmart's bathroom, <laughs> you will, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it so many times. <laughs> Why do you think we afford this podcast? <laughs> it's fucking meth. That's it. Although, like, I'm not selling it. I'm taking it. <laughs> I feel like I'm we saving. should write this movie of this like. Ba like bacteria becoming like hive mind and i don't then, like, like it i don't like it that's not means, my favorite <laughs> yeah i feel like it'd be a good movie and, and maybe meth is what solves it like meth kills meth bacteria. kills bacteria it should it's fucking meth yeah <laughs> I need, some, I need some meth actually right like, now. It, it, some fucking, meth. like hoses, like firefighter hoses, or like, you got, like <laughs> fucking <10 meth>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all like, like the people, like all the you know, people that do drugs, make drugs, whatever, they're the ones that save the day, not the yes, doctors, the underdogs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yay, <laughs> Billy this Bob, movie writes it so. <laughs> Billy, like Billy Bob Thornton. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. That's like my most. Whenever I think of like redneck hillbilly meth heads, um, I think Billy Bob. I like. I say meth head. That's such a derogatory term. I don't actually mean people with addictions. I just want to point that out there. Yeah. Um, addictions is a serious thing. That's yeah. just for fun. 
I, that's just my for, <laughs> for fun. I don't actually judge anyone who has addictions. Like that's your own struggle. Um, it's just for funsies. Well, it's like that guy, like that one politician that was like, Oh, well, if you're going to be a cab, then the next time you get robbed, call a meth head or something instead of a cop. And I'm like, have you seen met a meth head? They're so resourceful. Oh, my you gosh. <laughs> like, be like, I'm coming at you like this. And if you yeah, get hit, babe, babe, you actually home. get shit done, not a cop with a notepad. Like, what are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. No. Like, no, I've never sure. met a cop after the fact. Well, even during, but like after the fact, actually get the job done. Like, <laughs> How hard is it to write a paper? I could have fucking done that. You wanted me to email you? I could have done that. Defund the police. I can mm. send an email. <laughs> yes. I mean, I I kind of loved Breaking Bad for that because it kind of showed like, like the people you didn't think would cook meth, cooking meth. And then it kind of humanized people that are doing, you know, yeah. those drugs. It's like, why are they doing those drugs? It's usually trauma. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, if you had basic like health care and mental health care, the amount of people addicted to drugs would decrease significantly. There's still people going to be addicted like that's just it is. But like if there's zero, if all your needs are being met and you're getting support, you have no reason to escape life, you know, yeah. like that. Also, but, I'm from the mindset. It's your body. Like, yeah do what you want with it like i feel like these drugs should e be sold safely and legally and without wanna, the risk of fentanyl poisoning, right yeah. yes it's, it's like if you want to go to your house and do heroin fine like i have no issue with that it's just generally you can't go to your house and do it generally the, the to get the money to do it is a problem generally uh it's a you know not a good supply of heroin generally you know like there's all these other issues with it that like i i don't have a problem with the drugs inherently like i feel like it's a neutral moral ground yeah yeah but yeah. like a lot of people um rather live their lives instead of being high all the time yeah like sure like a <laughs> recreational thing but most people want to be sober and want to live their life that that's just what people yeah. want to do is just really hard right now and it's getting harder like <laughs> yeah and i mean and i mean the the definition of sober changes right like mm. like a lot of people that don't do hard drugs say they're sober but then they'll smoke weed and drink which is called yeah. like california sober now and it's like mm, you're still not so you're still using a substance regularly you know yeah. so it's like it, it that's why that's why i just view it as a neutral thing and it's just like the system like the war on drugs was terrible it didn't solve anything like any war <laughs> like any war <laughs> most wars aren't actually wars because it has to have two equal combatants but usually yeah, yeah. one <laughs> occupying territory you know <laughs> one uh one one that controls the air and controls the systems and yeah, that's that's not a war technically by definition. Yeah. So by definition, yeah, war is two sides, people, two sides. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I uh, well, we're getting to the end of this, so I do want to uh, uh, end it on a happy note. Uh, he uh, Henry Kissinger died. You uh, see, like a happy note. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! I mean, he lived to a hundred, so that's a bit of a sad note. But he was What's fucking a uh, hundred. Nine at a hundred, yeah. Oh my you know, god! All the war crimes, all the you know genocidal policies he put in for the United States. Well, uh, it finally caught up to him, I guess. At a hundred years old, uh, you know, only the good die young. But uh, uh, he finally died. So uh, rip, <laughs> rip, <laughs> rest <laughs> in pieces, bitch. <laughs> it's never too soon to uh, celebrate Kissinger's death. No, like it happened yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we just found out about it. It's like today has been a good day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've been celebrating since last night. So it's one reason I'm drinking on a Thursday. Although, like, it'd be better to celebrate it since, like, you know, when like there's witches and <coughs> when they die, the curses die. So, like, maybe now that he's dead, his curses should be dead too. Like, it's just, I fucking you wish. Know. But now like, we have Nim Yahoo carrying on the curses in israel so oh damn 
Too many genocidal witches. That's right. Go back to like the pagan <laughs> those witches. Let's do those ones. Those ones are great. Thomri's no. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm fucking done. That's like, okay. Thomri's <laughs> like, let's fucking say bye already, guys. Quit getting distracted. You started saying goodbye and then you fucking got distracted. Let's I finish. just wanted to say that because I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! It's okay to celebrate the death of terrible people. Don't yeah, feel bad for that. Yeah. Like, would you not celebrate Hitler's death? That'd be weird if you didn't. Like, it'd be um, weird. It'd <laughs> Don't be weird. Be weird. <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> uh, so, uh, we don't really have anything to plug. I just want to say thank you so much to our uh, VIP Patreon, Stephanie Hurst, who uh, donated to our Tipsy All the Way live stream. And, uh, and yeah, and just being there, being so supportive. We do have other Patreons, but she's the only one at the top tier. So, we only get to say her name. So, yeah, check out, you know, she's an author. Check out her stuff. Um, as well as the last week of December, we will be posting uh, segments from our Tipsy All The Way live stream. Uh, so you have tons of bonus content during Christmas holidays to catch up on. So uh, keep an ear out for that. And uh, other than that, uh, everyone have a good night. Don, hopefully you uh, feel better. Hopefully. <laughs> feel better, bitch. I'm going to like send you my ADHD meds just to like help perk you up. All right, we'll get her some meth. <laughs> Fuck your meth. Some it's meth. A, I need it's all the legal meth. meth. It's legal meth. It's it's. I need all the legal meth. Only You're if good. you don't have ADHD. If you have ADHD, it's not gonna. It doesn't. Leak. It just doesn't make you excited. Like it just keeps. Don, like, do you have ADHD? Track. Probably. I think, I think oh, I'll be like. She'll it. be like. This is the best fucking day I can focus. <laughs> you're like expecting to be high then all of a sudden like all your things that you have listed gets done like you're like, <laughs> it's like you i'm so productive yeah it's, it's not like, like i wrote so much of my book today yeah yeah and it's not like the adhd gave you more energy it just gave you the ability to stay on task like <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much everyone and uh we'll see you next week Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.